Hey guys, so today's video I'm going to show you guys where I have been living for the past two months. My house here in Tokyo, Japan and how it was really easy. So without further ado, here's the little house I've been living. So as you come in, we have the Genkan where I have some of my shoes over here we have a supposedly the shoe box that doesn't fit anything as you see like it's pretty thin so I can't actually fit any of my shoes but I've just made this kind of like my storage for like household cleaning stuff. and then to the left we have the tiny kitchen where I have like coffee and some washed stuff the sink wash stuff on top of the an electric stove view of my spices and stuff below i've made this little storage thing in here i have like some dry food to the side i just have this little shelf which i've turned into my pantry where i put more dry stuff and my toaster and plastic bags and stuff. If you turn here, it's the bathroom. This is just an overview. Put like a little frame up there. And then we walk into the living space. So through there is the kitchen that we just saw. Here on the left is the tiniest closet ever. I really had to downsize my closet, um, all my jackets, and then all my clothes are folded, and then bits and bobs. And then to the right, this is a couch that I got off Craigslist, and that part pops up, but I just kept it down and made it like a little sofa bed. And I'm so grateful that there's these little drawers where I put the rest of my shoes. And then on this side, bits and bobs, camera stuff. Um, this is my couch, by the way. So when I move out, it's coming with me. Over here we have the table eaten slash mainly where I just work. Right here I have like my little candle and crystal set up with some notes and some to-do stuff, my laptop. Underneath there's a, another table that I had and I just didn't know where to put it so I put it underneath and made extra storage. So from the closet on this side here is the other part of the sofa. Over here we just have my DJ set with my midi inside. My boots just never fit anywhere so I just left it there. The bags I'm currently using and this actually opens up. I'm not gonna... anyways, yeah, lift it. More storage in there, great. Also I just want to point out underneath here there is like a trap door. Most Japanese houses have this and uh, I literally just store a lot of stuff I don't use at all like a sewing machine etc. So from here move here and here is my mirror and also my fridge and my microwave and little plants and then we have the stairs to the loft area it's a pretty small space I've kept it as a bedroom you can just have the bedroom downstairs, but it's pretty simple and plain. And it's just my mattress and covers. And, and then in here, I actually got the shelf and turned it around and just made it into like a shelving system. And if we turn here, this is my view from the loft area. And it's pretty simple. It's a very simple house. So that was the apartment tour. Uh, as you see, the space is quite small. This is kind of normal for Tokyo. There are even smaller places. How did I get this apartment? I needed something that wasn't long term, 
Most of the apartments here in Japan are a two-year contract and that's just a commitment, something I don't know where my life is always headed so I don't that made me feel kind of uneasy and also I just needed something like to move in fast I came across Fontana I'll put their link in the description below by the way, not paid, not sponsored didn't get a discount this is literally I'm trying to help you guys that are probably coming for a short term or even a long term stay in Tokyo and where you can rent a place quite easily that's not just Airbnb so I searched on Fontana there was quite a few apartments so I came across this one it's been really good actually it's about 10 minute walk to the station the rent is about 85,000 and I believe even if you live up to two people here it's the same price it doesn't change I believe I don't know I live here by myself the thing is with this particular company you do have to stay a minimum of two months so if you are looking for something like in the one month range this is not for you but if you are staying like from two months up I do recommend it like everything is furnished here so literally you just walk in with your suitcase and that's it you can start living they have sofas beds chairs tables cutlery fridge microwave name it like they have everything the thing with moving in is that you have to pay the rent price the deposit plus a deposit that you get back at the end um depending like if there's any damage stuff blah 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 be prepared with that it is a pain in the ass but trust me it's a lot less complicated than having to rent an apartment in japan and i've done it twice before and this one is just like hassle free the thing that is kind of like me is these houses are old japanese houses so there is like rules between like 8 and 10 pm don't use any like loud voices play music etc etc living wise actually i've been very lucky all my neighbors are actually quite quiet i'm probably the only one that's like loud when I'm playing like my ukulele or my music because everybody else is pretty like quiet or maybe they're just at work <laughs> nothing much else to say and then you get the rest of your deposit back so I'm really looking forward to that nonetheless like I've tried to make it homely keep it clean and they also have a washing machine outside in the in the balcony which is really great the bills are not included the bills are separate but to be honest, I don't find it that expensive. I think in total, I probably, like gas, light, water, probably comes around 5,000 yen or 6,000 yen a month, 50 to 60 bucks. And that's because I do cook every day, twice a day. I use the air con, I take just, just giving you an idea. The staff at Fontana, very helpful. So it's just better to maybe call them up because they're a bit slow on the emails. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that answered some questions for any of you that are interested in moving to Japan or trying to look for a new place to live in Japan because as we know being a foreigner in Japan and especially when it comes to housing it's such a pain and this is really easy. Thank you to everyone who's subscribed, who's new and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!